Okay. Uh, it's going to be a crappy video. Um, I can already see my reflection on it, but um, not sure how to avoid that. You guys are going to have to just put up with that. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, um, this video I'm really making it for uh, is a response to Scanner Dana. We're having this uh, conversation. Uh, this is about um, DPFE. Uh, we're showing uh, wrong voltage there and we discovered that um, it was due to a background uh, some spliced wires uh, you know using, using a bug connector cam apart and as a result I was getting this fault code but anyway uh, this is the hotel MS 906 BT and we're gonna try to perform a test to determine whether or not the uh, passages of the EGR are clogged so right now I'm in active test mode so I'm gonna go into the uh, EGR duty cycle right there okay you say press the cancel button if monitor lap data is not needed uh, actually I do need to just check the DPFE so I'm gonna just look for that if it's available um, I want to look at that voltage if it is available, um, which I'm not seeing. So maybe look into. Let's see. Oh, there you go, right there. I didn't see it. So that's what I need. So, okay. Uh, let's wait. There we have it. So. Right now, the DPFE is sitting at 0.72 volt, which is okay. I'm at idle. But I'm going to now command the EVR uh, basically to shut off the bleed and create a vacuum so that the, uh, uh, what you call it, the EGR uh, can be actuated. And then I should see really rough idle. And this voltage right here of 0.7 volts should rise up close to 5. If it doesn't, then according to what I understand from uh, Scanner Dana, and I have uh, clogged exo uh, ports. So let's go ahead and uh, raise the percentage right there. We got that little nothing yet. Nothing yet. Okay, now it's changing. Definitely, I just felt a change in the RPM. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have had an RPM uh, screen over here, but you can see. How things are kind of shaking around a little bit. Let me see if I can zoom on something there. Look at that. Definitely shaking. Right, let's keep going. I'm at 30 percent, 40 percent. Now it's really rough. Look at that. Look at that. Where we at? 0.88, and this is really getting rough. Let's go. 50 percent. Uh, now it's kind of missing. Now you can see that voltage 0.96. Okay, let's go to 60%. Point nine eight. 70%. I think that's the worst we're going to get. It's not getting worse than that. 80%. Point ninety nine. 90%. Same thing. Okay, nothing. 100%. Okay. So I guess what I'm gathering from this data, I mean, it's definitely running rough, you can tell. Uh, not to the point that it's going to stall the vehicle for sure, but it's definitely running rough, as you can tell. Um, so let's go back to this, down to zero. Okay, it's going to resume. Normal idle. Everything is back to normal here. Um, yeah. So... Um, as I was saying, this is the uh, DPFE that I picked up at the junkyard. I, I forgot which uh, model range it came out of. Uh, it's definitely not the, the one for my particular car. I'm not sure if they're all the same or not. Uh, but as you saw, it looks like one volt is the highest that it gets to. I think this one is rated this way. Uh, I could be wrong. I'm not sure they all make the same, but uh, that's what I'm getting uh, from this test. So. Um, Basically, I'm waiting for your feedback. 
and uh, no disrespect, but only those who knows. Uh, you know, I <laughs> sometimes people are just giving opinions without knowing online. I really appreciate it if it is just people who really know this stuff, because uh, I'm trying to really expand my knowledge on these things. So I'm really getting familiar with this uh, tool right here, this hotel, and I'm loving it. Uh, yeah. So basically, this is what I'm getting so far. Uh, the highest it got, as we saw, was one volt, and I went to a hundred percent. So, yeah. Thank you and waiting for your feedback.